We're on the uh, roof of the car here. We've already got it hinged in place. So sometimes the, for some reason this hood or roof can be the uh, most difficult spot to install just because it's a compound and it's very wide and it's tough to get to in some of these places. Um, I'm using a footstool on one side and got a foot in the door as well. So if you don't have that luxury, what you might have to do is you might have to actually try laying down the graphic um, and trying to squeegee as much as you can. Just make sure you've got it lined up right with your tape marks when you're doing this. And I will tell you guys, sometimes these voids around the satellite might seem just a little bit off. Reason is, sometimes these are not always straight. So make sure you're going more with your, your tape line. And once again, I am not going to tuck or roll this yet. I'm going to wait and pull off the mask. That way I can get it rolled nicely behind this little gasket. We're going to use that tool again and get it put right behind that gasket. Go back over it firm squeegee strokes and then we'll do the front half. Okay, now where the back was not too bad for lining up, this front is a whole different beast. With this, we're actually going to be lining up our, our tape line first, where we need that void to be. You might have to stretch it a little bit to get it lined up right on this front lip. And what we're going to do on this is we're actually going to be working outward. As we're going down, we're going to be working towards yourself with your squeegee strokes. All you're doing is you're just helping that compound curve that's here in the front to line up correctly. And on this front, we're gonna wait, we're gonna take off the mask once again before we get it in here because we have another gasket here in this front windshield area. Alright, we'll take off this mask, we're going to get this gasket shoved behind, or moved out, squeegee down into it, and then we can move on to the deck. Alright guys, deck lid and uh, spoiler are pretty simple on this one. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this deck lid done.
So with this, this will tuck just right underneath the spoiler. So it'll make it look like it went under the spoiler. So it's, when you're setting this thing up, just make sure that you know that you've got enough material where it's gonna tuck under there and look like it's been wrapped all the way underneath. Because the last thing you want is a big void separated right here. Your void always needs to be up here by the windshield. Do our firm squeegee strokes. Take off the mask. Post heat, we're good to go. All right guys, on this piece, it is very, very important when you're lining this thing up that when you're, when you're test fitting this, that the material is touching the vinyl. The, you know that you're lining up to the stripe, okay? I know now that this is gonna wrap under and look like it's been completely wrapped under the spoiler. Now when we're also installing this, you also need to make sure you're checking this edge to make sure you've got enough vinyl to go underneath the spoiler a little bit as well. Okay, so we've already got our grease mark. We know that we are exactly where we want. So we're gonna go ahead and start the install. Okay, once again, fingers, start off your top, make sure that firm pressure again, take your squeegee, make sure you're rolling, trying to tuck in that vinyl, okay. Okay, now along the back, once again, just to get it started. And one thing you're always gonna check here is make sure that you're lined up still and you're not coming over too much or going back the opposite way. So as we're working this, we're gonna keep moving this out to the side. Always cutting those fingers. You notice if you're going at an angle, you're just helping that air release. Now, if you notice, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I'm going to take off the mask, leave this material, that way I can get it tucked in without trying to figure out how to get that masking out of there. One, uh, one quick tip is start from the side. If you guys are trying to figure out how to get that masking out from down there, it's not going to work. So if you start from a side, this will help you start getting off some of this masking. All right, so now we got that masking off. Now we can start taking this material, start rolling it under this edge. What this will do is gives it a nice flawless look, makes it look like you guys completely wrapped the spoiler. Make sure though you're getting that squeegee in there good though, because if you leave little bubbles and wrinkles in there, that can start separating over time. So definitely put some pressure in there Try to get underneath that spoiler as good as you can.